31 Storm Tracker meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. I tell you what, we've been talking about the hurricane hitting Florida all morning and folks still in its path have a lot to be concerned about. Yeah. Makes us really grateful for the weather we've got here on this uh, first day of school for some folks over in the Shoals. Yeah, absolutely. I couldn't agree. We, I mean, we have hot weather. We have dog days of summer weather, but we're not in the heat advisory like we were last week right. and that hurricane isn't coming anywhere near our state. So that's good news. Take a look right now at what we're seeing in the Tennessee Valley. As you're headed out the door this morning, the Way 31 Skycam Network, powered by Thompson roofing and construction bring you beautiful views for your lunchtime but a little bit on the warm side we're sitting right near 90 degrees but with views like that i say don't sit outside you'll sweat but sit by a window which we're going out to lunch today 11 20 on your monday morning and we are dry from rain those little patches of green you're seeing those are feedback so we're looking good this morning and we're going to stay both rain free and cloud free not just for the rest of the day for the rest of the week zero percent chance of rain all the way through Saturday as it stands. We might up one or two of those days to, I don't know, a 10% chance just to cover our bases if a, if a sprinkle comes, but that's all we're going to see. And in fact, much of the must, month of August is like that. This is our precip outlook all the way through August 15th, and it has us trending below average as far as our rainfall amounts go for this time of year. Not great news. We just started to make some headway in our drought in the Tennessee Valley with the last two weeks of rain that we had. So now learning that we're still in that drought and that we're going to continue to stay drier and drier, not exactly ideal. Make sure you set your sprinkler systems out because you're definitely going to need them. As we head through the rest of the afternoon, 93 by 2 o'clock, 95 for your high temperature today. That is just about average for this time of year. Factor in that humidity, though, and we will be feeling like the low 100s. Around dinner time this evening, we're still sitting in the mid 80s. Now, our humidity today is in the steamy category, about midway through that category. Last week, we were sitting in the disgusting or unbelievable category the entire week. So even though we're still feeling quite muggy, it is good to not be quite where we were several days ago and definitely good to not have those heat advisories. We're going to stay as you would expect warm, sunny and dry for the next several days remaining in the mid 90s both Tuesday and Wednesday. Not much variability to today for the remainder of the next several days. We're going to keep that sunshine but the good news is Tuesday and Wednesday gradually get less and less humid. Wednesday being the least humid of the three. All right, let's talk about Debbie. Was Hurricane Debbie this morning? We watched it here on Way 31 News Live as it was making landfall. Now Tropical Storm Debbie. It has weakened greatly and it's just south of Valdosta. Here's the thing though. This system is moving north and east at exactly 8 miles an hour. It's spinning at 70, but the system as a whole is moving at 8 miles an hour. Look at all of this torrential rain. That means for those in its path, it is just planting over them and bringing washout upon washout upon washout conditions and that's on top of areas along the coast that already saw up to 10 feet of storm surge so a lot a lot going on in that neck of the woods from Valdosta the storm will continue to track north and east through Georgia making it to about Savannah area cutting up the coastline to about Charleston South Carolina and then turning inland still not restrengthened to a hurricane but turning inland and making its way towards the Virginias by the time we get to the end of this week neither the rain band nor the cloud band are expected to impact us very much, if at all, here in the Tennessee Valley. This weekend, we're just a hair cooler sitting in the low 90s instead of the mid 90s. We're so beautifully sunny and slightly muggy, but take a look at those wake up temperatures. We'll go from the mid 70s wake ups to next week, mid 60s wake ups, and at least that'll be nice. Well, we're definitely thankful for the sunshine and the lack of horrible weather. I would love some rain because we are in a drought, but if it's between sunshine or a hurricane, I'm going to take the sunshine. I don't mind the rain. I just don't want it every day for as many days as we just recently had. It. I would yeah. agree. I would agree. All right. Thank you, Grace.